Hey guys, welcome back. I really like these forest sounds. It's like we're there in the middle of the night, which is kind of tense. Okay, so cousin, what are you saying? Like, oh, I didn't expect this. So what was it? We get out of the car and we see the following. It's a big house, I think. Maybe. But it's in the disarray. It seems like no one has been here recently. Where is Takenaka's house? The one on the back. Okay, that look doesn't look that bad. But yeah, it's definitely hasn't been opened for a while. Uh, we quietly move to the house. Yeah, that house. Okay, so we set out for the house. There are no lights on. And it's really quiet. Maybe he's already asleep? I look at his house one more time. There's mail. Uh, the mailbox is overflowing. Okay. The curtains are closed. Kazamori carefully goes, uh, approaches the house and tries to look in through a window. Can you see anything? <laughs> Fucking hell, dudes! Jeez! Oh. Okay, he's like, GG, call for backup! Holy shit, dude. Uh, so Kazumori quickly moved towards the front door. <clears throat> he tries to open the door, but it's locked. Takenaka! Takenaka! This is the police! Open the door! Ah. What the fuck, dude? Without, without even thinking, uh, hesitating, he... Pulls out his, um, oh, what is that again? The police stick. There's a word for that. Well, it'll be in the translation. Um, like the one where you like can really painfully hurt someone, but not really, really injure them. If you do it right. Uh, he breaks the glass. Okay, and opens, releases the lock. Whoa. Men knee flies come pouring out of the room. Stinks. Uh, something has been rotting here. Okay, we pull out flashlights from the car and go in. Then. Okay, no more flies. <gasps> Holy shit! Three dead bodies. <laughs> okay, an old woman and a young man. And the younger one is probably Takenaka. Uh, it's hard to read when it's red like that. It becomes a bit blurry. So they are they are already very rotten, I think. Some bugs are really happy with that. Ugh. I can feel my uh, the contents of my stomach rising up. Uh, but we shouldn't 
uh, do anything to the crime scene. She shouldn't. She's trying not to puke there to not contaminate the crime scene. Oh, it happened again. But this happened a long time ago then. Holy shit. Whew. With his flashlight, he goes over them. Uh, over their faces. It's clear that some time has passed. Both of their eyes are gone. All of their eyes are gone. And there are scissors on the floor. From their mouth, that is a little bit, uh, slightly open mouth. You can see that their tongue has been pulled out too. Blind man. Three people's eyes. But a lot of time has passed. Maybe these were the first victims. Shit. Do you understand, Gigi? Uh, blind man has been active before a long time is before we even knew it. He's a part of this village. We just didn't know it. Yeah, someone mentioned that in the comments that maybe now they'll find more and more victims and like old murder cases that now make more sense. So showing that he was around for a long time. But they just didn't know it yet. Okay. We can hear sirens uh, closing in. Uh, if Takenaka would still be alive, he would probably could have told us a lot of stuff. But... The monster... Uh, knew what we were planning to do. So, he took care of that. And a long time ago, too. I didn't think this could happen. Yeah, I didn't expect it either, actually. I thought they were just gonna see the guy. Um, okay, the investigation continues. I told everyone what happened. Okay, the investigation continues, yeah. Uh, I tell them as good as I can what happened, um, but we are ignored. Hyena? Oh, he, I think he tells the people hyenas, but like that you're um, calling their names, but I'm not sure. We're sitting. <laughs> we came back from the crime scene and sat at our desks. Fall asleep. Aw, fall asleep at your desk? That's gotta hurt your back. A couple of hours later, someone uh, wakes me up. When I realize, the first thing I see when I open my eyes is the wor worrisome ca uh, face of worrisome faces of Kuroda and Misuzu. Oh, sorry. Good morning. <laughs> Yesterday was brutal. Uh, we get up and stretch. Uh, good work yesterday. I heard about it. We have a new development. The victim we found on the mountain road uh, we have the identity, her identity. She is Watari Kurumi. Kurumi? That's so adorable! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Kurumi is a really adorable name because it's also it also means walnut. <laughs> That's so cute. 
Uh, 78 years old. Oh, and then to have your eyes and your tongue ripped out. Shit. Okay. Oh, wait. It says something about that welfare institution that, um, what's her name? Sanae works at. So somehow, maybe they're all connected. So she died because of shock. Uh, the shock of having her eyes cut out. Uh, just exactly like the first victim. Uh, okay, so everyone, the research department is uh, investigating. And the three bodies you found at the mansion, at the house, uh, we've also been able to confirm their identities. Okay. Oh, I was expecting one more. Takenaka Kozo, fi 58 years old. And Takenaka Chizuko, 55 years old. Oh, they were pretty old. I was thinking, somehow I was thinking of someone like 30. And then the third one is Takenaka... Oh, yeah, 28. So, I was right. So it was the guy and his parents. So he still lived at his parents' house, I guess. So suddenly we have four more victims. If we investigate, if we compare to Tamara, we might find out some similarities, maybe? Uh, the, she can explain that. Tachibana, go ahead. Okay. This is easy. Uh, Tamura was different. He still had his teeth. Oh, did he? I thought he didn't. Oh, oh, he was different because of the teeth. Yeah, all his teeth were pulled out, so he, so we couldn't recognize him immediately. Um. Okay, maybe I have to take uh, read it more closely when I translate. Okay, then the Kurumi, the granny, uh, there was someone who knew her in the area. Um, <clears throat> okay, and that's how we do who she was. Uh, and same with Takenaka because they found family pictures and they had dental records on the mom, the wife. And the son, uh, we just showed a picture to Sekimoto. So he saw the bodies. Okay, he must not, he must be troubled, and, you know, like not, where well, you're not sure what to think about it, the situation. Uh, still recording, right? Okay, so nervous. So what did you have to say about Takenaka? Uh, he had a bitter smile on his face. He said he didn't expect to meet him again like that. I see. Yeah, so he already uh, went missing during their experiment on the urban, urban legend. So that's a long time ago. That's all from me, Do you, unless you have questions. Is there something um, that connects the victims? Or something that leads to a killer? Um, did the cameras pick up anything? Uh, okay, so they're looking at the scissors. 
but I can't tell you anything about it yet. So they're normal production scissors, so there's like a do more than dozens, thousands of those scissors. You, they're sold everywhere and so there's no way to retrace who might have bought a, a pair of scissors like that. Shit! We need something! Calm down. Uh, you won't be able to... S getting angry won't get you any closer to solving this case. Uh, the culprit is somewhere, is just laughing somewhere. You expect, you expect me not to get mad? Uh, yeah, so Kazamori does exactly say what we're all feeling. We're all just stumbling around. Uh, let's see. Oh, so blind man knows connections? Knows who's connected to who, maybe? Yeah, it looks like a normal killer to me in that case. That's trying to erase its tracks or something. Um, okay, so they're still working on stuff. If they find out something new, Oh, then we might find find something new. Okay, and with that, Misuzu continues her expe uh, explanation. Uh, we're checking for traces of fibers on the clothing of the victims. Yeah, that's smart. Um. Maybe at the time of the murder, they might have been in contact with each other, and that would leave a trace of something. Um, it's dangerous at the crime scene. There's still a possibility that it's not just one killer, maybe? I don't know. Or that he's not done yet? Could be a different killer. Yeah, because of the differences between the... Could be multiple people uh, having the blind man, urban legend, work in their favor. And then she realized something, because she went like, ah! I go back to what he said, Kuroda. Different killers. That's also a possibility. Yeah, what I just said. Hehe. <laughs> what is it, Gigi? It's like Miss Suzu said. We can't. Uh, I just said. We can't deny the fact that it might be different killers. Why? Do you have some proof? Yeah. The biggest reason is... So, yeah, so this is the... Why is the... Hmm. It bothers me, I'm sorry about it, but the quality of the PS3 seems to go down. For me, it's also a bit blurry on the TV, so you might notice it too, but... It's a bit weird. Oh no, it is... Nah, but whatever. Uh, so the way of killing them is different. It's not everything. Still had the teeth. Yeah. But that might be just... Like, blind man is evolving. It doesn't have to be different people. 
could also be that he's just trying uh, out different stuff and changing his method of killing. Um, so maybe this one. Maybe that's the method of killing that's changing. Uh, yeah, so Tamara's case seems different. Really? I didn't realize it. Please explain in more detail. Uh, I didn't really have it straight in my head yet either, but... I have to explain myself, yes. Um, when we first found the body... Sea Village something. Uh, what does it say? I don't know. Okay. But what about this one? There's been a lot of time after Dave died. Okay. Plus... The ones we discovered now. Seems like the killer didn't want them discovered. Maybe? Ah, right. At the time of Tamura. Okay, so it's something about him wanting to discover us to discover Tamura, but not the other bodies. It is different. So I don't really have any proof, but... Okay. Yeah, so the killer wanted to be seen. He wanted to appeal to us. He wanted the urban legends to become known. Ah, yeah, might be. Okay, but it doesn't help us, really. Yeah, so Blind Man wants us to know who he is. But still, we still have to find out who he is. This is just, just sucks, <laughs> basically. That's what he's saying. Saying that he looks over the files on his desk, or on the desk. Uh, my eyes stop at, insert, at a certain file. It's the photographs of the uh, security system. They often take pictures uh, to get a more detailed look of the victims. But that's not what I see. It's a different picture. Oh! The... Oh, that's smart. The people who are looking at the crime scene. Yeah. Uh, Misuzu, what about these pictures? Oh, those. Um, it's the pictures the press took at the crime scene. We normally don't really need these, but... I'm good with faces. I think that's what he says. 
No, something different. He says something else. But he's saying, like, they only get in our way. Okay, it's mostly reporters. Yeah, they just want to get the latest news. But what I saw was in the back. I've heard of these kinds of pictures being useful before, but... Oh, right. I think they're saying like, yeah, when, when there's like a fire somewhere, the person who made the fire, who caused the fire, is usually standing there looking. I think that's what they're uh, saying. And that's why they take pictures of the people looking. So they might know, like, what were you doing there? And they can ask people, like, who had no reason to come across that street or... I think that's what they're saying. 